Hi everyone, this is Dr. Dickinson. In this video, I am going to be demonstrating how I unpack a math content standard. I selected the California Con Common Core Math Content Standard Ratios and Proportional Relationships. This is a sixth grade math standard. And the standard reads that students will use ratio and rate reasoning to solve real world and mathematical problems. For example, by reasoning about tables of equivalent ratios, tape diagrams, double number line diagrams, or equations. So let's get started. We have our table here. This is going to help us decompose or break apart our standard. And you'll be saying the word decompose a lot if you're a math teacher. So just say it with me. Decompose. OK, let's get started. First thing I want to address is some prior knowledge that my students need in order to meet the standard. So if students are working with ratios, then they should have a foundation in fractions. They should be able to identify a numerator and a denominator and understand that a, really, that a fraction represents a part to a whole. <clears throat> Students should also have an understanding of decimals because with ratios, we can find the unit rate and we can determine what is the de decimal equivalency. So students will need to know how to divide fractions and that will help us with their understanding of ratios. They'll also know how to read decimals and compare quantities because after all with ratios, it's all about making comparison of two different quantities. We find ratios a lot in recipes, in the real world when we're shopping, um, in sports, all different places. So the real world application for ratios is gonna be really easy. It's just addressing all of the skills and knowledge my students need. That's the challenge. Students will also need to know what is simplest form, and they should be able to see a, a fraction and know whether the fraction can be in simplest form. They'll also want to know how to make an equivalent ratio, equivalent fraction. So one half is equivalent to two fourths, so on and so forth, because the more comfortable they are with equivalent fractions, the easier it is going to be for them to find an equivalent ratio. All right, so now that we've talked about some prior knowledge for the standard, let's unpack the standard. So there's two ways to unpack the standards. One is to identify the nouns, and that's what students need to know. The second is to identify the verbs, which is what students should be able to do. So for nouns, students need to know ratios. They need to know about what a double number line is. They need to know about equations and equivalent ratios. For verbs, what students will be doing is they will be using a ratio. So that means that they have to be able to apply a ratio in a context. They'll be able to reason with ratios. So they'll see a situation and they'll be able to use reasoning to see where does this ratio make sense? How does it work in the situation? And then they'll be able to solve real world problems. So we're thinking about this in terms of Bloom's taxonomy. You can see the level of cognitive demand increases with the knowledge and skills that students have. They can use the skills, they can apply them, and then they'll be able to think abstractly and see what is the best situation, what's the best strategy for me to use given this situation. All right, now let's think about some materials, tools, strategies, and questions. First, we want our students to use anchor charts for strategies. So any strategies that we're sharing, whether it's a double number line or ratio table, should be put in an anchor chart. Students should have access to physical manipulatives for creating ratios that can be cubes or blocks, anything to give a physical representation. They'll need double number lines to represent quantities. This is really important, especially if they're doing um, recipes. You might have a recipe that's like two cups of flour for every one cup of milk, and then they can write an equivalent ratio, and that's easy if you can see it on double number lines. They'll also want to have access to tables to record ratios. Some questions I might ask is what are the different ways to express a ratio and how, how is a ratio similar and different to, to fractions? Again, how do we see ratios in the real world? Thinking about this standard in the context of technology, this is where I need to charge myself cognitively. I can think about two models that really help me with addressing the standard. First is the SAMR model. Using the, mo the SAMR model, I know that I can substitute technology in many ways to help my students understand ratios. 
I can substitute counters with virtual manipul manipulatives to demonstrate relationships. I can also substitute with a cool video such as Flocabulary. I can also augment um, some of the strategies and skills by using um, web-based tools like Desmos, which will allow me to apply uh, real-world context ratios. I'm also gonna address the ISTE computational thinker standard with, by having my students work on a three-axis math test, such as the world's fastest dog. That's a fun one too. So be sure you check out all these strategies. Hopefully this video was helpful for you to think about how you can unpack a math content standard. Again, this is Dr. Dickinson. Please feel free to check out my ITL 516 YouTube channel for more videos and tips on helping you understand and explore math instructional practices in our course. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.